So our headliner is Mr. Matt Hunkler. Uh, he is a die-hard technology adventurist with a sharp mind for branding and bringing big ideas to life. Hunkler has led a number of sales and marketing and product teams for fast-growing startups. He recently collaborated with voicemail inventor Scott Jones to build a platform for the most influential individuals on social media and some of the world's biggest brands. Hunkler has founded Verge, a national platform, platform excuse me, for tech startups, a community of more than 2,500 software entrepreneurs and developers and investors nationally. In 2012, Matt was named an IBJ 40 Under 40 honoree and, and the entrepreneur to watch by CEOs under 30. Um, and he's also a TEDx speaker, so we're glad to have him on this stage. Please join me in giving a big Sparks welcome to Mr. Matt Hunkler. From the news, Thanks, Chris. Let's give it up for Chris. Chris is killing it. Oh, my time started. All right, let's go. All right, so first off, I want to know, when was the last time you had a peak experience? It might have been the last vacation you took, maybe you won an intramural basketball game with your intramural team, or it, maybe it was winning that beer pong game the last weekend. But think about when was the last time you had a peak experience? Do you have a peak experience today? How many of us had a peak experience today? A couple here and there? Okay, well, I want to talk about something real quick. My name, as Chris said, is Matt Hunkler, and I am probably one of the luckiest guys in Indianapolis. Uh, just in the last year, I had a chance to represent Indiana at the White House, uh, which was the first time I went to Washington, D.C., outside of a bachelor party, which didn't happen. Um, I had a chance to ring the closing bell, closing bell at the NASDAQ uh, stock exchange. I don't even have any stocks, so like, I had no business being there. And I had a chance to give my first TEDx talk, which was here in Indianapolis, downtown at the Hilbert Circle Theater. And in reflecting on that, all that had happened in the last year, I realized that it was actually a formula. And it was a formula that I learned uh, in one of my many roles that I played, which was amateur magician. And as an amateur magician, I learned the formula without even realizing it, the formula for creating peak experiences. And I was able to define each section of that, and I want to share that with you tonight. So that formula is target, hook, rapport, escalation, apex, and drop anchor. Conveniently, I made up those words to create an acronym, the thread method. And I've used the thread method to not only start businesses and have peak experiences, but help others do the same. So, just join me for the next eight minutes, and we're going to go through this real quick. So the first thing is to target. And I learned to target when I started my first business, which is when I was 15 years old, and I was running my first business. We used vinyl records. How many of you guys know what a vinyl record is? It was large format. Um, and I would digitize them onto a medium that was popular back in the 90s called a compact disc. Compact disc, anyone? CD? Yeah. So that was my first business. And the reason I started that business is because I had a target for a peak experience. I wanted to get to Europe, and my paper route wasn't going to get me there. So what did I do? I started a business, and I digitized these records. And the key to targeting is to anchor emotion into that target. I woke up every morning and looked at a poster of Europe. And I had created this collage and printed it out at FedEx and put it up on my wall. And I looked at it every day and anchored that target right here. And so if you want to have peak experiences, you have to understand what that feeling is you're going after. Uh, and so that's target. The next part is the hook. And the hook I learned actually in my next job. And my next job was in college. I transferred from Purdue to IU. Boilermakers in the house. Hoosiers. That's right. So I transferred to IU. And I learned the hook when I was basically making up for that transfer cost to IU. And it was during my first role, which I responded to an ad in a newspaper. It's the last time I'll ever respond to an ad in a newspaper for a job. Uh, and it was selling heavy machinery and cleaning supplies door to door. I sold vacuum cleaners door to door. And I was like, oh, cool. I got the job. I got this in the bag. Not even going to worry about it till summertime. Show up on day one, 
this is what I'm selling. The same thing this guy in whatever, 1940-something, is selling door-to-door. -door. Kirby Vacuum Cleaners still sells vacuums to this day, this way and only this way. It is amazing, and they're doing amazingly well. So something works there. But you've got to do something really exceptional to tell, sell a $2,000 vacuum cleaner door-to-door -door in the middle of summer. And so that's where I learned the hook. And the hook is telling a joke, doing a magic trick, asking someone about themselves. So after you've targeted the experience and you've hooked someone's attention, you're able to get to that next level, which is a really, really important level, and sometimes people don't even make it to. And that is building rapport. It was through that, that entire process of selling vacuum cleaners that I was able to start my first business the next summer because I knew I didn't want to sell vacuum cleaners door to door again. And I actually built that business uh, in Rainmakers. I think Lick, Nikki Lou Allen is here, and I, I saw uh, a number of other Rainmakers here in the crowd that helped me build my business when I was down in Bloomington, Rainmakers Bloomington, uh, which is where IU is. So I, st I started doing that and learning how to build rapport simply by asking people about themselves. That's the number one thing you can do to build rapport uh, and continue that discussion the next time you see them. Uh, that led me to, building that company led me to join the OR Fellowship Program, which is what brought me here to Indianapolis, which is why I even had a chance to sit next to this guy. I have no business sitting next to Mitch Daniels, especially now that he's at Purdue. Uh, so, that, so, that's, so that's rapport. And I was able to connect um, through, through networking, through creating Verge, uh, which is the company that I now run. I was able to connect with uh, another guy. And this guy is someone who changed the course of my career forever. And this was four years ago. And first of all, the guy is taller than me. So at that point, he had my attention. Then I found out he invented voicemail. So then I, he really had my attention. And so I just found out how could I build rapport with this guy? How can I? give him something valuable, something that I could offer to someone who's created voicemail, has more money than he knows what to do with, uh, is involved in so many different things. How could little old me do that? And so I was able to identify a problem that he had, solve it, and uh, we were able to build a business together last year, and it was uh, a really incredible experience. And I wouldn't have been able to do that experience if I hadn't learned how to escalate that conversation. So the next part is escalation. That's the E in the thread method. And escalation is really important uh, because it's all about bringing more people into the conversation. So as you're creating this peak experience for yourself, think about how can you build, bring more people to the conversation to escalate the energy. So part of this, you know, with uh, the Verge community, this is a picture of a Verge event uh, down at the Speakeasy, which didn't exist when Verge started. It was all about how do we empower more people to start something in Fishers, start something in Broad Ripple, how do we start something up in West Lafayette? and all about empowering people to join that conversation, join the, join the escalating movement, and reach that next step, which is the apex. And the apex wouldn't be possible if I hadn't brought in the other people in the community, which are Indianapolis Star, Business Journal, um, Inside Indiana Business. That all kind of culminated this apex moment that here in Indianapolis, if you just look at this screen right now, these are half of the companies that were involved with an apex moment that we built just over a year ago called Powder Keg. Any of you guys go to Powder Keg? No? Not in this room. This year, it could happen. All right, so this year we're blowing it up. We're, we're not capping attendance this year, so that, that'll be good. Uh, we had a number of people that kind of joined this movement. We were able to build, um, build the apex moment because we created lots of different experiences. It was a two-day event in six different venues. Lots of opportunity there to reach a peak experience, and that's what an apex is. It's an apex, it's a zenith, it's a peak moment. And you really need to build to this uh, through the escalation and through anchoring uh, and really building to that uh, peak moment. But it can't be perfectly designed. So you have to give lots of opportunities. It happened to be that the peak experience of Powder Keg was probably at Lucas Oil Stadium when we were doing a, p a pitch competition there. But it could have been at Crane Bay. It could have been at the JW Marriott. It could have been at Developer Town. It could have been at Speakeasy. It could have been at any number of these venues. And it could have been with any number of people. But it happened to be here for me. But other people are going to experience their own peak moment. They're going to experience their own apex moment at a different time. So you have to think about that and not try to strangle it. The next piece. Uh, this is the company that actually won, and it was, it was leading up to kind of more national um, publication. 
And this is actually a perfect example of the next piece, which is a drop anchor. So the D in thread method is for drop anchor. And we were able to get this national press that now we can look back on, we can watch the videos, we can read the news pieces, we can look at that thing that reminds us that that was a peak experience, that was exceptional. So looking back at that, there are a number of things you can do. You can take a picture. I draw pictures. Uh, it, it's horrible, but it helps me remember and capture in my own movement and in my own mind what was happening there. And I can look at this and understand and feel that same feeling I had at Baker Beach in San Francisco. And so when you look at this process, think about your own experiences. Think about target, hook, rapport, escalation, apex, and drop anchor. And you can create your own peak experience tonight, your own exceptional experience tomorrow, your own peak experience for the rest of your life if you think about it and move forward. And so that's what I encourage you to do. Create your own exceptional peak experiences with Thread and create a little magic in your life. Music.